Hundreds of thousands from around the world have gathered in St. Peter's Square for the election of the new Pope. Nearly 900 years have elapsed since St. Malachi predicted the arrival of the final Pope. So far, only black smoke has arisen from the chimney of the Sistine Chapel. The entire world is waiting and watching for the arrival of Petrus Romanus. In the extreme persecution of the Holy Roman Church, there will sit Peter the Roman, who will pasture his sheep in many tribulations. And when these things are finished, the city of seven hills will be destroyed, and the terrible judge will judge his people. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Join me this Sunday at Cornerstone Church for a brand new, not to be missed, teaching series. Have you heard of the prophecy of Maliki? Do you know who Petrus Romanus is? Understand the times and seasons we are living in. This Sunday, only at Cornerstone Church. Petrus Romanus, the final Pope, is here. Grace to you. We are teaching on this exciting subject, Petrus Romanus. And as we do, it's important that you understand the times and seasons the church is in right now. Your challenge is to follow the program of heaven. The earth and its occupants have their own program. The church must be tuned into the frequency of the kingdom. Remember the prayer of the Lord, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now I have a firm assurance that the anointing of Issachar is being released upon the body of Christ during these significant times. Now you need to ask yourself, are you walking in the anointing of Issachar? It's important for you family to understand what God is doing. It's important for you to understand where we are heading as the church and what we should be preparing for now and in the new year. That's why I feel it's important for me to talk to you about the anointing of Issachar on these devotions. Get around that anointing of Issachar so you will know what the Spirit is saying to the bride today. Now let's look at Issachar for a moment. Throughout the history of ancient Israel, the tribe of Issachar is portrayed as a family that was destined to prosper both physically and spiritually. Now the ancient rabbis taught that the sons of Issachar were not only mighty men of valor, you'll find that in 1 Chronicles, but they were also called to serve the other tribes in the areas of finance and in the ministry of God's word, the Torah. Issachar's allotment uh, to the promised land primarily consisted of the valley of Jezreel. When all the tribes were allocated land, Issachar had the valley of Jezreel. Now this piece and portion of land was the richest farmland in all Israel, which also had access to the Mediterranean Sea. Consequently, the sons of Issachar drew out of the abundance of the sea and the hidden treasures of the sand. That's how Deuteronomy 33, 18 and 19 describes them. In their abundance, God called them to provide food to the whole family of Israel and to their brethren. Now the sons of Issachar in a sense, I pray you're grabbing all of this. The sons of Issachar in a sense controlled the bread basket in their nation. They were a very important tribe. Issachar's spiritual prof, uh, prosperity 
is also evident amongst Israel. They were one of the six tribes to stand on Mount Gerizim as part of a sacred blessing ceremony. It's found in Deuteronomy 27. According to the Targum, and the Targum is Jewish scripture, is an additional explanation given by the rabbis concerning the Torah. It's called the Targum. Now, according to the Targum, they excelled in the words of the law. According to the Targum, they were endued with wisdom and were obedient to the commands. Their knowledge of God's word caused them to become the primary cultivators of Israel's spiritual treasures and their counsel and their interpretation of the scriptures were received as the authoritative word. Now according to the Targum again, the sons of Issachar were also biblical astronomers, very important. They were also astrologers and astronomers who kept track of the times and seasons. And the sons of Issachar, the scripture says, who had understanding to know the times and were skilled in fixing the beginning of years, the commencement of months and the intercalculation of months and years, skillful in the changes of the moon and in fixing the lunar some solemnities to the proper times skillful also in the doctrine of solar periods astrologers in signs and stars that they may show Israel what to do these guys in summary understood times understood seasons knew when months begin and remember back in that time there was no fixed calendar but they had an understanding and they provided Israel with direction, with counsel, and with blessings. Now, during this month, I'm going to take you on a very important journey as we decode some of the things going, right, going on right now in the world. And you need to ask yourself, I said all this in the devotion, describing the sons of Issachar, to say to you, church, there is an anointing like that Issachar anointing upon the body of Jesus Christ for understanding the seasons and times and a grace and an anointing to read and understand the scriptures in the light of what's going on right now. Do you have that kind of anointing in your midst? Now remember, I'm standing with you in prayer this wonderful October morning, let's receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. This is your friend and brother, Mervyn Nider, reminding you that the devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. And you are more than a conqueror. Hundreds of thousands from around the world have gathered in St. Peter's Square for the election of the new Pope. Nearly 900 years have elapsed since St. Malachi predicted the arrival of the final Pope. So far, only black smoke has arisen from the chimney of the Sistine Chapel. The entire world is waiting and watching for the arrival of Petrus Romanus. In the extreme persecution of the Holy Roman Church, there will sit Peter the Roman, who will pasture his sheep in many tribulations. And when these things are finished, the city of seven hills will be destroyed and the terrible judge will judge his people. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Join me this Sunday at Cornerstone Church for a brand new, not to be missed teaching series. Have you heard of the prophecy of 
Maliki. Do you know who Petrus Romanus is? Understand the times and seasons we are living in. This Sunday, only at Cornerstone Church. Petrus Romanus, the final pope, is here.